Guys, just so you know, if you're not planning to eat at McDonald's or fast food, eating in Hawaii is not cheap. It's kind of expensive compared to a lot of America. Most entrees are $12 or more. So keep this list in mind to help you stay budget conscious. Aloha guys, if you found this video today, it's probably because you're looking to travel on a budget. Now I've been living in Hawaii for about three or four years now on the island of Oahu. And this video is gonna be specifically towards the island of Oahu and mainly in the Honolulu area. If you're traveling to Oahu, Honolulu, you're typically gonna spend a lot of time around Waikiki, Honolulu. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the end of this video. So I wanted to kick off this list with Oh My Grill. It's actually a local dish that's very cheap. You just wanna make sure that you ask for it fresh. Sometimes the chicken katsu there is not fresh and it doesn't taste that good, but when it is fresh, it is smoking, it is crispy, and it is pretty juicy. The, my favorite is the katsu sauce. I typically ask for an extra sauce. Now they give you a bowl of rice or they give you an add-on of rice and they usually comes with macaroni salad. Now that's a typical Hawaiian dish so uh, or local dish. So if you don't like macaroni salad, it's very important that you ask for the green salad or just extra rice. Now this is about $8. It used to be $7 before the pandemic, but like a lot of things on this list, the price rose a little bit more. Um, so that also comes with a drink. So it's a full meal for eight bucks. Definitely recommend it. It's in the McCulley area right next to Waikiki. So next we have Marukame Udon, and that's gonna be curry udon. Curry udon is very tasty. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's even tastier than the first thing I listed, but it's gonna be a little bit pricier at $9. It used to be $7, just like the katsu uh, before the pandemic. But the most popular option to go to Marugame Udon is actually the curry udon. And it's gonna be the $9 bowl. You could get it spicy. You don't have to get it spicy. Uh, but when you go there, you're gonna have multiple different options like uh, fried shrimp, fried um, tempura, tempura vegetables and stuff like that. Um, but if you wanna stay budget conscious, then you're just gonna to wanna to go for the curry udon and then maybe grab a drink, something like that. So next on this list, we actually have 808 Bunsik. Now this one is the most expensive on the list, but um, you get a huge portion with, you get a huge portion with your meal. So this is Korean fried chicken, barbecue flavored. Um, you can get a couple other flavors, but my favorite is the soy garlic. And it's located in the heart of Honolulu off of Baritania, I believe. And it's only about $12 at the time of this video. It used to be $10 before the pandemic, but now it's $12. But these are the biggest chicken wings I've ever seen. It's pretty tasty. It's not the best ever chicken I've ever had but it's pretty tasty and it's my definitely uh, my go-to choice for chicken wings. All right, next on this list, we have the Rainbow Drive-In. Now there are a lot of things that you could get at all of these places that cost more, that aren't really on the budget side, but at the Rainbow Drive-In, if you're looking for a budget dish that's not complete fast food, um, you're gonna wanna go with the teriyaki or the uh, chicken or barbecue um, burgers that are typically about $6. Um, don't go for the ones that are just the flat patties. You want the actual like chopped up meat and that's gonna be pretty tasty. So that's really close to Diamond Head. So make sure you go check that out. Next on this list, we have Raising Cane's. Now Raising Cane's is super fresh. Um, honestly, it might be a little too fresh. It's a little soft sometimes, so I have to order it extra crispy. This isn't indigenous to Hawaii, but it's a fast food chain that's been blowing up and tastes pretty fresh. Um, if you hate the McDonald's, the Taco Bell, this is something a little bit different, kind of closer to like a Popeye's or like a Chick-fil-A, but they have chicken strips and they're pretty amazing along with their Raising Cane's sauce. They have the special sauce that's kind of similar to Chick-fil-A, um, but I typically go to the mall to get that or even by the University of Hawaii, uh, Manoa, there's a Raising Cane's. Even on the west side, I think down in Eva Beach, there's a Raising Cane's out there. It's fairly new, but you could expect about a $10 plate from there. All right, next we have a typical one. 
that a lot of you guys are, should know already, um, it's Panda Express. But going with this list in Hawaii, there's not a lot of budget choices. So I have to throw this on there because it's a solid one for most people. Maybe not for you, but maybe for the next person. I definitely love getting the Beijing beef. And if you haven't tried it already, definitely try those. If you don't like onions, just let them know. Take off the onions like myself. I only like it to be grilled. I liked it so grilled that you can't even taste the onions. So Panda Express, I usually get it with chow mein and a secondary option, maybe broccoli beef or something like that, something healthy. And then you can get a drink on the side next to the ABC store for a dollar. And that's typically gonna run you around 11, $12. And now for a bonus, I'm actually gonna throw in all of the cheap small eats that you can actually uh, go out and find like at the ABC stores, the 7-Elevens, um, and then the uh, Musubi shops. Now this typically isn't gonna be a meal like everything else I've put on the list, but there are a lot of snacks that you can go get like Spam Musubi, Teriyaki Musubi, Chicken Musubi, and it's just this Japanese like rice uh, rice ball, kind of like sushi, but it doesn't typically have the, the fish in it. It has like meat in it. So if you're not a fish person, you'll probably like this, especially if you like rice in combination with it. It's also wrapped in seaweed, just like sushi, but without the fish. So if this video brought a little value to you and you're using this video to get around in Hawaii, definitely leave a like, leave a comment if you wanna see more. If you feel like I left anything out, feel free to comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if this is your first time and we'll see you guys in the next video. Aloha.